Welcome to Civil CAD Learning Solutions Productivity Tools Help Videos. In this video, we're going to go over the Profile Thickness Application Feature Tool. So if you're ever working with profiles and um, you may have a CD request and you show pavement thicknesses uh, for concrete or asphalt or any other types of pavement on utility profiles, you know, besides bringing in a corridor to show those concrete thicknesses or pavement thicknesses, uh, we have a tool that allows you to create a thickness or for your utility profile. So for example, I have my utility base here. Um, all it has is my profiles, pipe networks, my alignment, and some references for surfaces. This is actually my proposed surface. And I'm going to go into my productivity tools for CCLS tools and profile thickness. It's asking me to select a design profile. I'll select it. And right now it's asking me to enter a thickness. So here I can put different layers of thickness. So for example, I want to do minus one foot. And here's the region. And if you have a different style, so for example, if you have different uh, profile fill hatch styles, this is where you're going to be selecting this right here. It's not actual hatch style. It's the profile fill hatch style. Okay. Um, and this is the region, so I can change the station if I need to, but I'm just going to click OK. And there we go. Now, I could add a second layer if I wanted to. If I can go back to the profile thickness, select this, and add another one. Now, this one's already adding the one foot that we had. And here I can say, well, this one is going to be um, a half, uh, let's say, six inches. And it could be a different style if you had one. I'll click OK. And there we go. Now, if your, let's say, design profile or surface changes through this data shortcut, um, you'll need to update this. So we have an update button, which will update this pavement hatch for you. You also have the capabilities to set certain regions. So for example, maybe you don't want that pavement thickness to go through the whole distance across your profile. I might want it to go to station 300 for both of these. And there you go. So notice here it changes. So I can have different regions set on different lengths. If I go back to my profile thickness command, I can have this at 300, set another region up there. So in this region here, it can be a totally different um, fill hatch. So maybe at this point here, it's concrete, but at station 300, it can be a different pavement hatch style. Okay. So notice in region one, I have two layers, but on region two, it's only one hatch. Okay. As you can see here. So this is a quick and easy way to apply a profile thickness to any type of street profile or even a utility profile. Hopefully this helps answer your questions about using the Profile Thickness application tool.